What's up, guys? Oh, let's turn that volume down. Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar. A little live streaming on, uh, what is this, a Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Lots of folks in the house. We're doing the House of Blues this evening. Here at Relax and Learn Guitar, I help folks who are 40 learn how to play the guitar like they've always wanted to. It's easy to follow lessons. Been very much into the blues lately. Thanks to our amazing members at the Relax on Guitar membership. Lots of them on here tonight already. What's up, Diana? Hello, all. Oh, Diddy Kids Place in the house. What's up, boys? Those are our grandkids. Amazing folks. What's up, Robert? Good evening. Frank is saying a good evening to everyone. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Randy. Stevie Ray Vaughan would say a springtime in Texas. It was springtime in Ohio today. It's nice out. What's up, Randy? Thanks for joining us. Newbie here. Welcome to Relax Long Guitar. Since you're new here, uh, you may hear me talking not to myself, but to my wife, Vicki, who helps with Relax Long Guitar. She's the one behind the camera and the one helping with the comments. And we also got our loyal mascot Maggie May mm -hmm. who always loves our live streams Maggie. because she gets treats oh she knows what's up there you go we just got to keep her under control before we get started with our lesson and she's been very good got a tip from one of our members um, about helping her with her barking so she knows that there's four four treats right here got spit on my fingers <laughs> Dog spit's great for the blues. And that's Maggie Mayer, our mascot. What's up, Michael Gonzalez? Good evening to you. Great night in Nebraska. Let's see, I missed some people up here. Uh, Ivy Livewire's here. Randy, we got you. What's up, uh, Greg Gallup? Howdy to you. Dinah said hello back. Oh, what's up, Joe? Good to see you. And Roland is here. Don Roach. Jeff Showers, thanks for joining us. We got Brad Davis in the house. And Air, oh, what's up, Enric? Good to see you, man. Hope you guys like this lesson. Good evening, Mr. Robert Leopold. Good to Hi, see God. you, too. It's always fun. I've, uh, I was one of those, Bob and Joe, actually, uh, was able to connect with members in like real life, which is always amazing. So good to see you guys on here tonight. If you are not yet a member at Relax Long Guitar uh, for the full access membership, I will leave a link in the description. You can check it out there. Lots of good stuff going on there. Amazing people. Access to all my lessons. Everything you need to relax and learn guitar. What's up, Rick Russell? Good to see you. And hello back at you. Dylan Donovan. So we are doing some blues. So grab your guitar, make sure you're in tune. Hi, Brett. Um, we are, <laughs> Brett saying hello. And we are going to, this is kind of a, not really a part two, kind of building on our last live stream. If you did not check out that live stream lesson, I'll leave a link in the description as well. You can check that out. We went over, we'll do a quick review tonight over kind of like 12 bar blues. That's what this lesson will also be based around. But the cool thing for this lesson is a big game changer for me, and I hope it is for you guys too. I'm going to show you how to do some blues and add in some lead work or some fills using just four notes. So I am a big believer, one, that you're never too old to learn, and number two, keeping it simple. So I'm going to show you guys... Uh, these four notes we're gonna be using a bunch tonight, um, why they kind of work and how we can use them and play some cool blues for you. So looking forward to it. What's up, Mr. Doris? Good to see you. So make sure you're in tune. Um, just a quick review from last week. This is gonna be a blues and A again. And last week we talked about this A. A shuffle so you're gonna be using your um, lots of just two string chords which is great for this blues lesson uh, the A is basically an open fifth string and you're gonna fret the fourth string on the second fret that's your A those two two notes fifth and fourth string 
doing a little shuffle with those. Down, 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 down. To start with all down strums, the shuffle on counts two and four uh, are happening with your ring finger hammering onto this fourth string, fourth fret. Then we did a D chord. The beauty of this, move your finger down one string, you're going to fret the third string on the second fret and play the fourth string open and the third string second fret. That's your D chord. And same idea. You're going to be doing a little shuffle on the second and fourth beat with your ring, I'm sorry, yeah, your ring finger again there on the fourth string. Sorry, third string, fourth fret. Then we're going to do an E. That's going to be an open sixth string, and you're going to use your index finger on the fifth string second fret. These are all power chords. Got an A, a D, and an E. And they all get a shuffle on that fourth fret with your ring finger. If you're like truly a beginner, stick to an E7 chord. You can just do this with all, let's see, A7, D7, and E7. If you're a true beginner and you don't want to work on those kind of power chords and shuffling, just stick to open chords there. What is up, Tim Jedry? Good to see you from Emerald Isle. Oh, our friends vacation there every year, and they were just talking to us about that, actually. I suppose a very, very beautiful place there. What is up, Harvey? Good to see you. Michael Jedry is here from Macon, Georgia. We're happy you're here too. Oh, it's Andy. Andy's got a different ma name here on uh, YouTube. Good to see you, Andy. Also a member at Relax Learn Guitar. Lots of members here tonight. We very much appreciate your support. So the uh, big thing, that was the, the big thing we covered at the last live stream. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. If you have not seen it, you can check it out. The other thing we did in that lesson was um, talk about the structure of a 12 bar blues. So there's 12 bars. Each bar is basically four counts. For this, it's a one and two and three and four and that's like one bar of A. That's one bar of D. And that's one bar of E. We talked about the 12 bar structure. So there's uh, the first four bars are that one chord or the A chord in this case. That's the root, the one. And then there's two bars of that four chord. So the easy way to think about this is just count up from the A. So A is one, B, C, D is your four chord, and E is your five chord. And then the 12 bar blues, there's a structure that's followed uh, very standard. I mean, there's quick change blues, thanks to Diana here for helping me figure that one out. And um, the, uh, the standard blues is four bars of the one chord, then you have two bars of the four, two bars back of the one, and then the five chord once, the four or the four chord once, back to the one chord, and then you turn it around. We spent a lot of time in last week's or last live stream lesson on that. So check that out if you have not seen it yet. If you are a member of Relaxing Guitar, you can check out the uh, Sweet Home Chicago lesson in the members area that goes through in pretty good detail for what the 12 bar blues are. Steve, Steve Merritt is here. Good to see you. He's back. <laughs> All right. So here's what I want to show you guys tonight. We're going to take it nice and slow at first. And this is just the A. So 
So I really want to show you guys, this is a good way to sound um, pretty together when you're just playing alone. So you can do the shuffle part. I'm going to show you these little fills in between. So these fills are all going to be four notes. And like I said, um, one thing I love about the blues is there's, if you listen to a lot of blues, they'll find like a little fill or lick or riff and kind of repeat it and it'll sound good over the chords that are being played. And the cool thing about the blues and just keeping it simple and usual, like you can, you can head out to a buffet, right? And you can eat tons and tons of different stuff, but it doesn't really ever feel like a meal because you're just sampling all these things. So what we're going to do tonight <laughs> is we're going to make a meal out of four notes because <laughs> that's all you need. So let's talk about where these notes are. You're going to be playing these notes on the fourth string and the third string. And they're up here. You're going to move your finger. They're up here on the fourth string, fifth fret. That's the first note. Fourth string, fifth fret. Second note is fourth string, seventh fret. Third note is a third string on the fifth fret. And the fourth note is the third string seventh fret. So there, these four notes, fourth string fifth, fourth string seventh, third string fifth, third string seventh. Um, if you are a member at Relax Long Guitar, then you should check out, uh, this lesson is really built around um, an A minor pentatonic scale. So there is a, if you want to take a deep dive and you're a member, um, check out Intermediate Module 3. Who was asking that? Randy. Oh, okay. It's Randy. So check out Intermediate Module 3 and the A minor pentatonic lesson. These, the fills I'm covering tonight are all just kind of, they're going to be kind of improv. You can change them up. And the lesson that's in the members area goes into why and how that works. So that's the lesson I would check out. What is up, Mr. Manning? Good to see you. And Maggie May wants to give some more dog spit to the blues. Awesome. <laughs> so, so you want to focus on these four notes. And you're only going to be using your index finger. You're always going to use your index finger for those fifth fret notes. And you're always going to use your ring finger for the seventh fret notes. So the action is this. Now the reason these notes work in this blues song, this is a blues in the key of A, in the A, a minor pentatonic scale, is that. And when you look at the A minor pentatonic scale, and don't you don't have to worry about all this stuff, if you want to take a, a deeper dive into it, like I said in the members area, you can do that. But for the night's purpose, just realize that these four notes are part of the a minor pentatonic scale that works over this A blues song. That's really the, the most you need to kind of keep in your brain at this point. And you might hear this called like the box. Um, some people are like, learn how to play out of the box. I'm telling you what, playing in the box is great. <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff with these four notes and this scale. Oh, <laughs> well, you enjoy the, uh, is that, was that Andy? Yeah. Yes, Andy, definitely check it out. And again, if you're not a member yet, check out the link in the description and learn how to do that and get all the perks. So let's talk about this song. What I'm doing is I'm playing that A, shuffle, and I'm doing a little lead in between each of those A's, a little fill. easiest way to think about this so you're playing this a right and you're on the fourth string the second fret you're just gonna slide that after you're done doing a little shuffle doom, 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 doom. you're gonna slide that index finger up to the fifth fret just leave it on that fourth string and then you're gonna do a little let's talk about a little vibrato tonight too 
So you're sliding up after you do that A shuffle. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing that fifth um, fret, fourth string note, hammering onto the seventh fret with my ring finger. And then immediately hitting that third string fifth fret and I'm giving a little vibrato there. You don't have to. You can do that if you want to, but I like the And for that, uh, for vibrato, let's see, the best the best way to explain this, I mean it's not just wiggling your finger. <laughs> That's what it looks like. But it's really more of an action. It's more of an action like in your hand. So you can, um, you want to have a pretty good grip, you're going to use this index finger, and right after you strike that third string on that uh, fifth fret, you want it to dig into that fretboard pretty well. If you don't have your calluses worked up, this will do it, especially if you're playing an acoustic guitar. And you want to, uh, the action is more like this. You are moving your wrist some, but depending on your strength. I mean, you could probably get away with just using your finger, but... If you really want to kind of get into it, I would try to use your whole kind of wrist and hand there. And that's the lead or fill and for after each of those A shuffles. Back to the A shuffle. So try that. Um... <laughs> I'm sounding Canadian with my A's. I don't know, dude. I'm Appalachian. Oh, is it weird? All right. That's the lie. That's the way I do it live. I was going to say, I might have an Appalachian accent. My family's from the South. But maybe we're from South Canada. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yes, doing well. Good to see you, Mr. Manning. Um, the Apenotic looks are cool. It takes some practice to get the... Yes. Diana, all of this... And just take it slow, like slow blues are cool too. Do as slow as you need to. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Manning. All right, so in the blues, um, 12 bar blues, you're gonna do that four times. You're gonna shuffle on that A. Four times. Um, then you're gonna move to this D. And again, you're just moving down here. You're gonna use your index finger on the third string, second fret. Play that open fourth string and the uh, third string, second fret for your D power chord. So we're gonna cheat a little bit here. We are just using four notes. Now this one, so after that A, we slid up to the fifth fret. We're gonna, when we finish that D shuffle, you're gonna slide up to the seventh fret with your ring finger. We're gonna cheat a little bit here and get another note out of these four, because the four notes, remember, one, two, three, four, in that little box. This note, we're going to bend this string, so we're really working with five notes if you're getting technical about it. So what I'm doing there, I'm hitting that seventh fret of that third string with my ring finger, and then immediately bending it. What you want to do here, you got to use some muscle. You're going to use your ring finger to bend the note, but you're going to use your middle finger and your index finger to kind of get some beef behind it. All right, so you're gonna hit the note, bend it up, bring it back down, and then you're just gonna hit this with your index finger. Again, these index fingers just play the fifth fret. You're gonna play that third string fifth fret with your index finger, and then go to that fourth string seventh fret with your ring finger. So the whole little lick is this. I'm trying to accent it here. 
get a little fret buzz when I really hammer that. So that's the, that's the lick we're going to play after each of these D shuffles. So we have... So practice that over and over. Vicky has heard this one all day. <laughs> goes twice remember so you have the first four bars are the one chord or the E I mean the A then you're gonna do two bars of the D here if you want to you can you can also do a little tremolo on that last note depending on how much time you have if you're going fast or slow then back to that A shuffle for two bars same lick there as we did on the D. So we have an E one time. When I say one time, one bar. One and two and three and four and D one time. And then A one time. And we're going to turn it around so you play that five chord again which is the E chord and E7 sounds really good there so I'm going to play this all the way through and I'll explain those if you have a question just pop them in here what is up Francis Maloney good to see you appreciate you stopping by so here we are from the top um, I'll go sort of slow here comfortable with it speed it up um, there's a lot you can do with it and all those the beauty of this is play any of those four notes you're gonna sound good any four and it's gonna sound good there because those four notes cheat a little bit with the bend are all in the scale that sounds good with this tune are you saying put a, a, rumble, in a rumble in it? Yeah, you can put a little rumble in it. You can also get a little fancy and slide out of these licks. So you have... You can just, after you do the little rumble or wiggle, vibrato, just slide down into that next chord. Actually, it's probably easier to slide out and back into the chords than it is into these licks. Just my opinion. So depending on how fancy you want to get, I'm telling you four notes and making a meal out of those. 
goes a long, long way. You can uh, speed things up as you get a little more proficient. You can also add in more notes on that shuffle. You can add in that fifth fret if you so incline. But really, I kind of like the way that just standard shuffle sounds. If you without the four. Yeah, I like uh, if you're gonna play it a little faster. So starting out, just do all down. And the little palm muting goes a long way too. If you wanna speed it up a little bit, do down up strums because you can get, you get more action with less uh, energy. So if you're, if you watch me here, If you're doing all down strums and going faster, it can be a little more of a challenge. I think it's easier to do down ups if you're going to speed things up. It's more bluesy when it's slow. Actually, I'll agree with you. <laughs> and if you have a, oh, we got a question here. Um, let's see, Brad Davis, awesome. And once you get the box and scales down, they can be moved. Oh yeah, that's the beauty of all of this. So I'm talking to you guys about an A minor. The a minor pentatonic, depending on what key you're playing in, the scale shapes don't change, whatever position that you're in. So you just use those same scale shapes, and that's all in the intermediate modules in the membership area, if you're curious as a member. That's what it kind of explains that whole piece, and that's what it all gets built on. So yeah, good point, Brad. Diana agrees, Randy agrees. Yeah, this goes a long way. So this is kind of like the, the beginning pieces. Randy might have been agreeing with Vicky. <laughs> I could do that all night, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> so thanks so much for tuning in. If you guys have questions, leave them here. If you came in here late, it's okay. You can always watch the replay here. If you remember, log in and check out the Intermediate Module 3 for some more A minor pentatonic and uh, lessons there for scales and improv -ing. Otherwise, add this one to your list. Built on last week's, or two weeks ago, our live stream two weeks ago, with a shuffle, and now you got a little bit of... And you can always experiment with those four notes. Awesome lesson once again. Thank you, Steve. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for your support. Um, again, if you're not yet a member, check out the link in the description and the full access membership. We would love to have you be part of your guitar story. How are you playing the one, two, three? Um, what, Michael, what do you mean by the one, two, three? Are you talking about this? Maybe as a shuffle, just let me know. You are welcome, Mr. Russell, and Tim said, very good lesson, Randy. Good lesson, thank you. Yes, thank you guys for tuning in. Michael, if you want to message me uh, later, I can get back to you and answer your question for you. Brad says, slow is smooth. Yep. Slow is smooth, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brad says, we always agree with Vicky. <laughs> yes, that's a very wise decision. Um, <laughs> music yeah <laughs> yes you are welcome Andy and have a good night mr. Frank I hope I didn't miss anybody there Robert Bob says uh, does the box shape stay the same for any key Robert yes so if you're in the minor if you're in a pentatonic scale the answer is yes that box there's always a box in every first position scale so 
the lessons go into that in more detail, but the short answer is yes. There's a box for every key. And there's four, four notes that are important there. You're welcome, Enric. You are welcome, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. Steve says, after he, after he agrees, it goes with yes, dear. <laughs> so you guys have a great evening. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for your support here at Relax on Guitar. Um, if you have liked the content, I would appreciate you for subscribing. It helps us um, with the channel and helps us keep giving you, bringing good lessons to you guys, which is our goal. Other than that, we will sign off and I will see you guys for the next one. You guys take care. Night, everyone.